seorang pemimpin agama Yahudi. Ia datang pada waktu malam ketika Yesus sudah berkata, Rabi, kami tahu bahwa engkau datang sebagai guru yang dituduh. Itu salah, sebab tidak ada seorang pun yang dapat mengadakan tanda-tanda yang engkau adakan itu. Jika Allah tidak menyukainya, Yesus menjawab, katanya, Aku berkata kepadamu, sesungguhnya jika seorang tidak dikasihkan kembali, ia tidak dapat melihat kebenaran Allah. Kata Nikodemus kepadanya, bagaimanakah mungkin seorang dilahirkan kalau ia sudah tua? Dapatkah ia masuk kembali ke dalam rahim ibunya dan dikasihkan lagi? Jawab Yesus, aku berkata kepadamu, sesungguhnya jika seorang tidak dikasihkan ke air dan ke ia tidak dapat masuk ke dalam kerajaan Allah. Apa yang dilahirkan dari daging adalah daging, dan apa yang dilahirkan dari roh adalah roh. Janganlah engkau heran, karena aku berkata kepadamu, kamu harus dilahirkan kembali. Angin bertiup kemana ia mau, dan engkau mendengar bunyinya. Tetapi, engkau tidak tahu dari mana ia datang atau kemana ia pergi. Demikianlah hanya. Karuniakan kepadanya dari surga Yang ombunya mempelai perempuan Yang mempelai laki-laki Tetapi jangka mempelai laki-laki Yang berdiri dekat dia Dan mendengarkan sangat Mereka mendengar suara Mempelai laki-laki itu Itulah suka kita bu Dan sekarang suka kita bu Ia harus makin besar Tapi aku makin kecil Siapa yang datang Di atas adalah Dia semuanya 
siapa yang berasal dari bumi termasuk ada di sini semuanya. Dia memberi ke kesaksian tentang apa yang dilihatnya dan yang didengarnya. Tetapi tak seorang pun yang menerima kesaksiannya itu. Siapa yang menerima kesaksiannya itu, ia mengaku bahwa Allah adalah benar. Sebab siapa yang diutus Allah, dialah yang menyampaikan firman Allah. Karena Allah meruniakan rohnya dengan tidak terbatas. Bapa mengasihi anaknya dan telah menyerahkan segala sesuatu kepadanya. Orang siapa percaya kepada anak, ia beroleh hidup yang kekal. Tetapi barang siapa tidak taat kepada anak, ia tidak akan beroleh hidup. Naikkan muka Allah dan katakan kepada anak. Amen. Praise the Lord. My name is Frank. And I'm just a child of God. Because God, the Father, has sent His one and only begotten Son into this world to pay the penalty for our trespasses, for our transgressions, for our sins, the punishment that we deserve. God sent His one and only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Whoever should want to begin not perish, but have the free gift of God. This is uh, my sister in Christ. She loves the Lord. We're in Indonesia. And as we continue to trust in the Lord with all the heart, we will not lean on our own understanding. We will acknowledge God in all the ways, in all that we do. We will acknowledge Him. Because he is faithful, he is so good. So fathers and mothers, raise your children in the way that they should go. That when they grow old, they would not be far from it. And we must train them in the word of God. For the word of God, it's so powerful, sharper than any, any double-edged sword. living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow. <laughs> and they say the discerner is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So this is the word of God. So we must proclaim the good news to the ends of the world. Men, women, Children, sons and daughters of the Most High God, the Lord Jesus Christ, come out of your comfort zone, come out of your buildings, come out, come out of the world, do not be conformed by the ways of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may be able to prove what is the good, accepted, and perfect will of God. See, the TV, the TV lies, is telling you Corona, COVID-19, physical distancing, yes, it's deadly, it's killing people. But let me tell you something. Are they telling you that there's something, something greater than COVID-19? Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video, the TV will not tell you that your sins will lead you not just to the grave but will lead you to the pit of hell fire unless you repent you should all likewise perish Bible says for the wages of sin is death for the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord we must repent we must repent of our sins and confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let me 
tell you, my friends, do not be ashamed of the gospel. Wherever you're at, do not be ashamed of the word of God. For whoever is ashamed of the Lord Jesus Christ and his word, Jesus will be ashamed of them when he comes back in his glory, in the glory of his Father, and in the glory of the holy angels. So do not be ashamed. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to all those that believe, first to the Jews, then to the Greek. Then if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. Yeah. For whoever yeah. calls on the name of the Lord shall be yeah. saved. How then yeah. should they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how should they believe? And how should they believe in him of whom hey. they have not heard? And how should they hear without a preacher? And how should they preach unless they are sent? And it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. How should they hear without a preacher? The Lord Jesus Christ last words to his disciples. He said, Therefore, O power in heaven and earth, give it to me. Therefore, go to the ends of the world and make disciples of all nations. That does them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teach him everything, all things that I have taught you until then. I will be with you until the end of ages. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to church, it's time to walk out those doors and shine your light. Be the soul and light of this world because these, pe these people out here are perishing. They do not know our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you claim to know Him, but by your works, you deny Him, my friends. Do not be afraid of COVID. Do not be afraid of Corona. But fear Him, fear God alone, because God has the power and the authority after the body is dead to cast the soul into hell fire. Don't fear. Do not fear, for God did not give us fear of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. Just like this child was reading. Jonas, Jonas chapter three, John chapter three. You must be born again, for no one can see or enter the kingdom of God unless they're born again. Many claim to be born again. Many claim to know him. But let me tell you, if you're not walking in the spirit, you are living a lie. You're confused. You are being destroyed for lack of knowledge. You are being deceived, my friend. Because when the Spirit comes in you, there's nothing that you could do. There's nothing that you could do to contain. You just want to tell the world the goodness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever should believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him may be saved. Oh, my friends, but that the world through Him might be saved. How would they hear of Him who they have not known? Unless a preacher, unless a believer in Christ Jesus preaches the Word in truth and in deed. We must be doers of the Word that is Spirit only, my friends. Now, who, those who, who do not believe, I put them already because they have not believed in the Holy Spirit. that do not believe are condemned already because they have not believed in the only God and Son of God. And this is the condemnation of the light has come into the world but men love darkness because their deeds are evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and will not come to the light as he deeds to be reproved. 
no Sunday. Many people are going to church today. But guys, ladies and gentlemen, if you're truly, if you're truly walking with the Lord, there's nothing, not COVID, not Corona, not the government, not police, nothing in this world that can stop you, that can hold you, that can say no, no, no. Because Jesus says, go to the ends of the world and make disciples of all nations. We must love in truth and in deed. If we love these people around us, we will tell them, we will let them know that Jesus Christ died for them and they, that they must repent, must repent of their sins because sin is more deadly than COVID. Is the TV telling you that? No. Are we paying more attention to the TV than the Word of God? Guys, yes, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Be ready. Be ready. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm just going to close it with a prayer. I don't know if you want to pray or you want me to pray. You want to pray or you want me to pray? Me, we, and you. Me only? Okay. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just come to you in your precious name. In the name of Jesus. I just humble myself, deny myself. And Father God, I just ask that you empty, empty me of what is not of you, of what is of the flesh, that I may be filled with the anointing power and grace through your Holy Spirit, that I may proclaim and speak your words to these lost people in Indonesia, that I may share the good news that you, our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, is good to all, and that there is salvation to all that call upon the name of the Lord that we must repent of our sins, that we must fear you, Father God, not the things of this world, because you have taken, you have taken away our infirmities, you have taken away our sickness, you have taken away our sin, and nailed it to the cross. So I pray, Father God, that there will be a revival, that there will be the fire that no one, no man can contain within our hearts, within our soul, that you will do mighty works through your sons and your daughters in these last days. For it's not your will that not to perish, but that all, that all will come to true repentance, to the saving knowledge of the truth. And there's only one truth, and that is, our Lord, our Savior, for what He did at the cross. What He did at the cross. He died. He paid the penalty for our sin. Yes, Father God, You sent Your only begotten Son to be crucified, to take the place that we deserve, death, punishment, took it on Himself. That's the love that You have for us grace and now Jesus rose from the grave on the third day and is sitting at your right hand and is coming again soon so Father God cleanse us purify us strengthen us equip us with the tools that are required and needed to continue to do what is right that we may resist and reject what is not of you that we will draw closer and closer to you, Father God. That we will have no fear, no shame to let this world know that Jesus Christ is Lord and that He is the King of Kings and that He is coming again soon. Give us the strength, give us the courage, the power, the boldness that we may continue on doing what is right. So I pray for people of Indonesia those that go to service on Sundays, that they would be filled with the anointing Holy Spirit. And the children of Indonesia, as well as this young child next to me, that they will be filled 
that they will be an example to those that do not know the truth. That they will be on fire proclaiming your word in the schools, in the streets, in their neighborhoods, to the ends of the world. I pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Alright. Praise the Lord. Put you to hand. guys glory be unto god that is faithful that is so good don't ever estimate the power of god if god says that he will never leave us he will never abandon us he will never forsake us he means it we must walk the talk we must walk by faith not by sight we must not doubt that all things are possible with our Lord and Savior. He is willing, the Spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Continue to pray for us and continue to do what is right. God bless you in Jesus' name. Oh, what's the oh. recording? Yeah, one more time, what's not recording? The external storage is running low. So. Oh. So. So let's go. This is Okay. Miss Cleandra.